Chapman softball and Glenel back in the finals after seven years are underway and it's a ground ball right to the Olympian Bell White. Led Crows over playing Gold Coast as this is chopped over towards second base and Rachel Tonkin makes and she'll strike out looking, so Zolly Adams finds that inside edge. And is batting, she's on deck. Sarah Tonkin golfs one towards center left field. Bree McGee has to track it down and fight the sun. Been hot this last half of the year, she's hitting 375. Seems like a step down, amazingly. Is this one in foul territory? <laughs> and what a catch from Yo Grower! Shoulder, running back, and throws the glove out, and soft hands just watches that one right in the glove. She could win the Cap Coral medal tomorrow, and she knocks one to right field. It's in for the first base hit of the game in front of Sophie Walkup, and that five would be the leader on Glen Elk. Grounded to Peterson, and that ends the threat. So she stays with it, but it's Bell White again, and you'll see it on the C Max replay. She can just, she's got a great arm, Bell White. Grounded back towards the pitcher, Zolly Adams. Oh, that ball almost sailed, but Riley Moore. This is grounded up the middle, ranging over is Tonkin. She makes the play. It's a 1-2-3 inning. Shortstop third. And a strikeout from Jade Peterson. It's her first of the day for the strikeout queen. At a and a swing and a miss. Jade Peterson, 19 at-bats this year. Is jammed over towards left field. And it's a one, two, three inning. Momentum and positive energy about you. This grounded over to third. What a trap by Abby Weir. Knocked to right field. So will it be a close play? Sidney Horton legs it out. Swing and a miss. Look at the off speed. Plate appearance rather. Makes some contact with it, but fighting the sun. And we talked about this pregame Bill Benedicts in that. And a first pitch swing. Glenelg will score the first run of the game. Sasha Penglaze. Well, Sasha Penglaze is a good contact hitter. And, uh... and it's another run. And now you can probably say... And she goes fishing on a pitch upstairs. Zolly Adams. Well, she'll start with a runner on first, and it's a ground ball right to her. So Yo Grauer in the game. But Sarah Tonkin, who it's 470 on the season with a and it's cracked to left field. Played by Penglaze over at left. And Bell White is going to have two runners on. Australia's Olympian. She cracks one to left field. One run will score, and it gets by Penglaze. Two runs have scored. Bell White has tied it up. Maddie Cameron charges one to center field. It is over the head of McGee. One run has scored. Maddie Cameron with a stand-up double, and Sturt hit the front. Could put Bell White on in that situation and go to Maddie, but... Up against the wall, Horton. Since Yo Grower's come in, she allowed three hits, but she gets a strikeout to end the inning. Eventful first few innings and a first pitch swing from Sophie Walkup and Maddie Cameron. Can she get on base for that Glen Elk top of the lineup? Fishes that one maybe slightly out of the zone. It's an awkward spot again and coming all the way. Horton grounded right back to the pitcher. It's bobbled slightly by Adams. And by the time she had scooped it up, can they give a chance to Shepard and Grower in the middle of the lineup? Base hit up the middle. It gets by Bell White. It's a 1-3 split. And Courtney Shepard, the leading batter this season for Glenelg, will have a chance. First pitch swing right to the sure-handed. White, whoa, who is in the toe, almost in the dirt. That's a big play from Riley Moore at first. That's bunted right back to Grower. Almost barehanded it, but I think she just guided it into her glove. In the top of the third, Sturt responded with three. And a three-pitch strikeout from Yo Grower, who's keeping things simple now. That's her second strikeout. 
conscious of it or not, but I, I know I've... It's down the line. It stays fair. It was an ambitious play to pick that one up if you're Courtney Shepard. I don't know if it was going to go foul or not. Talk into third. Picked up from Shepard across the diamond and another nice play at first base. That's a tricky one. Gemma Cochran here. And both those base runners scored. And now Penglays hustling down the line. Swing and a miss. A huge strikeout from Olivia Durham. Tate Nicholson rolled over to first. Sure-handed Riley Moore. Knocked over to second, and that is well trapped by the youngster. There's might be trouble for the fielders. Crack to left side, and Bell White is three for three in a final. And that ball slips away as well, and Bell is going to be able to advance to two. It should. 3-1 count. Now they're going to try to get Bell White at third. She got her. What a throw. Wow. Horton to Shepard, and the Olympian is down. Throw had to be perfect, and it is right at the bag. The only question is it passed the bag, and Bell slides in front. I mean, Bell White, I think, has a good case here, as this is sent to center field, cut off by the center fielder, and that play has just saved a run. Grounded over towards second, and Nicholson. She's had to make two nice plays this inning. So, was named to a national squad. Is this over towards Bell White? Hauser zipping out the hand and gunning her down in an elimination game. It's amazing. Drilled to center field. Maddie Cameron moves back, two down. No, and she's earned her place there, a two-point. Get behind those pitches. This is chopped right back to Durham. She'll make the play to first. And it's a strikeout for Grauer. Well, she blows one by her inside, so two strikeouts to start the inning. Swing and a miss. Abby Kennedy down. Joe Grauer. Yo strikes out the side. Find the play today. Knocked up the middle. It's a base hit. And it's bobble to center field from Cameron. Yo Grauer's going to third. She's going to stand up. And it's runners on second and third. Infield in. This is grounded. Charging on is Bell White. She holds the runner. It's in the dirt. The bases are loaded. Students going at each other. Durham to Nicholson. Nicholson to right field. She's tied the game. She's out at first, but Glenelg will trade that off because Tate Nicholson has come up roses. As we saw early. Walk up down on strikes. That's a nervy pitch from third. First time up. Rolled over towards third. It's got to be played by Weir across the diamond. It is. It's over. Sarah Tonkin, first pitch swing. Charging on is Sasha Penglay. She makes the play one down. Being a dandy. Pop straight up. Horton. Two down. White to left field. Moving back. Extra innings. And another changeup. Got her for strike three. Knocked to second. Scooped up by Tonkin. It is an out. It does advance the runner to third. But don't count him out. And a swing right to White. It's a one, two, three inning. But Yo Grauer goes upstairs. She's going to lay down the bunt. Scooped up. Well, the bunt was laid. The out was made. But there's a lot of pressure. Two strikes. And the ball gets away on the throwback. And Bell White was just a little bit too far. And oh my goodness. This is jammed over towards third base. Will it fall? Diving to make the catch. We play on. Action happens. Exploding. Jammed her a bit. Going to come down just in foul territory. And Shepard. 
Penglaze puts another ball in play. Maddie Cameron's got to fight the sun. She makes the play. Men's fourth was charging on as well. It's one down. Grounded over. It takes a funny bounce and it gets through. The runner is being sent home. Here's the throw. There's no play at the plate. Glenn Elgar in front. Just chops it to the right side off the glove and past the glove of Rachel Tompkin, who is coming across to cover. It was almost a double doink. Did it, that go off two different gloves? I don't think it went off of Rachel's, uh, but it definitely went off of Riley's. And you can see when uh, Shepard gets the three, she's ready to stop, but she gets waved home. And she swings at ball four, and it's two down. Grounded up the middle. Adams played cleanly, makes the play. Glenelg do score one run. For me. And it is. It's popped straight up, though. And it's made by Horton. That's disaster for Sturt. And that's exactly what happened. Also, Yo Grower throwing a bit of a lifter there up high in the zone, and that, that forces. Swing and a miss. Sturt are down to a final out. Swing and a miss. The comeback queens strike again. And they'll play on Wednesday in the prelim. Well, battle back, battle back, battle back. You can never count them out. There's their faithful fans up there making all that noise and the hugs and the joy you can see in that picture right there.